Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a seamless pattern for free using Recraft AI. Now, as you can see, I have this pattern that I copied and this is the copy and I could put this style into any position and it will always combine together smoothly. And this pattern is very useful. You can use it to create a unique decoration. You can also use it to make a product, which in this case, I just created a simple mockup of a birthday box with that pattern and this is also something that you could achieve using Recraft AI so let me show you how you can create a seamless pattern using Recraft AI completely for free all right first let's navigate to Recraft.ai and then sign in to your account and by the way if you don't have an account you can sign up for free and if you if you're using my link you should be able to get extra credits for trying or to try multiple tools and features in this AI platform now click create new project and after that just wait until the editor is open all right now click image and here click the model so right now it is using recraft version 3 and we want to change that we want to use a seamless model click on it and then you have to search for seamless and we have four different options well actually just two but i have no idea why i have we have duplicate here but basically there are only two options which is the seamless digital and then seamless factor now what are the differences between the two they're actually the same thing except the digital version is if you want to create a png or jpeg output then you have to use this option and it's also very good for giving or creating a decoration or maybe you want to create a product mock-up then i do recommend using this but if you're planning to use the pattern for something that is bigger like you want to make the pattern to be really really big you want to put it into a building maybe or maybe you want to uh, change the color later using a different program like adobe illustrator then you can use seamless factor but other than that they are pretty much the same now for simplicity i'll try to use seamless digital here you can click apply and you can describe the pattern that you want to generate so for this example i'll try to create a cartoony cloud pattern and after that you can also adjust various settings like the negative prompt and also the color but honestly i'm not going to touch any of that and then here you can select the aspect ratio of the pattern ideally it is square but feel free to use a different aspect ratio if you want to but i'll stick with the square pattern here you also have the option to uh, adjust the style diversity or sorry enable style diversity so you can make the design to be more very basically and if you want to get more interesting output then you can enable this option but personally i don't really like that so i'm going to just disable this option now after you're done with all the prompts and also the setting just click recraft and wait for the AI tool to generate the seamless pattern and by the way one thing that i forgot to mention is that if you enable style diversity uh, from my testing at the very least it is not always seamless so maybe if you want to maintain the quality and consistency i think it is better to disable or turn off style diversity to make sure that the style or the picture to be as consistent as possible all right so we got this picture and on its own it doesn't feel like it was seamless and one way to prove that is that by just copying the tile over and over again and then we can create a new pattern so i'm going to right click copy and then i'm going to paste it somewhere and if you merge them together you can see that it is basically seamless now i'm going to copy uh, these two again i'm going to select them right click copy and then paste again and put it here so yeah it's really amazing that we can create this very easily because i think about a year ago creating seamless pattern was only available if you're paying for some sort of premium subscription but now we can do it for free using recraft ai here uh, we actually got a bigger version of the pattern but it is also possible to merge them together you can select all of them and then click merge objects and then this is going to be to, to become one tile which also seamless so again i'll prove it to you that it will still remain seamless uh, just wait until it is finished and by the way let i'll show you how you can 
create a product mockup using Recurve AI as well if you are interested. But basically, uh, I think you are done creating the pattern. So here uh, it's becoming one single pattern. I'm going to right click, copy, and then paste again. And it is still seamless. So that's really amazing. Now uh, I want to create a product mockup. So I will click the image menu again. And I want to create, let's say, a picture of handbag, a plain white handbag. And click recraft. And then later, I will make the handbag to be more attractive by adding this cloud pattern. So yeah, that's one use case of pattern. Well, oh, oh my god, I made a mistake. It's handbag, not handbag. Sorry about that. English is not my favorite subject at school, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. So I had to create a new picture. That's why that was quite interesting. Now we have this white handbag, which is plain. It is actually all right, but I want to make it more attractive. So I'm going to click on this picture and then click mockup right here. And then just wait for Recrab AI to turn that into a mockup picture. And by the way, you can actually download the pattern to your computer. You can right click and then export as PNG or JPEG depending on the format that you prefer. And then you can use it later on other programs if you want to. But you can also just drag and drop this into the product so you can create a nice looking mockup right in Recraft AI. Now just wait again until AI is putting that pattern into the product. Now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. And there you go. So we got this amazing looking product uh, that looks quite interesting. And yeah, it is coming from a pattern that we just created on Recraft AI. So if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.